Hello and welcome to another episode of my Denim Room videos. I did a video, a short video, um, I think it was in November, which would have gone up, I think it was 17th of December. And basically I wasn't planning to do any more updates um, before my room tour video. What I did want to do was do a video showing what I have done since then. So in the following week, um, what I'm going to do this video though, this will probably get, go up in 2022. So I'm shooting it, I think today is the 9th of December. So this will go up after my room tour video. So the first time you'll see some of this stuff will be in the room tour video, we'll, would have seen it. Hopefully I've managed to shoot that and that's gone up okay. But I did want to do a video to show so we'll set what I have done, uh, just the record for myself really, and also just to, to have these bits on their own, because obviously this is extra stuff I've done. So I had these figures lying around on the top, top of the, some of the DVDs I've got on the, in the lower part of the room. And I wasn't sure what to do with these, I didn't want to open them, I wanted want to keep them in the packaging. So I was so much to do with them, then I was thinking, I've got this space here, I'm not using it. So I decided to hang these up here. Now, I did use big hooks, because originally I was gonna hang stuff off the hooks. But then I thought I'd just realize, so I'll show you in a second, you know, I probably could and should have used smaller hooks, so I might possibly change over. Um, I've got those two like that. I've only got the two of those saucer figures. I mean, there are some other ones. Uh, I may move them up and possibly be able to get three rows in there, potentially, or, keep two rows but um, have like two side by side so basically four on there I've only done like that because I've only got two <clears throat> but yeah I might move those so what I've done is I'm rather than resting on the hooks they're resting on the back of the hooks um, obviously those hooks are a bit bigger so there's more of a back to them but didn't think it's the Holes, I basically drill a hole in there and then I sort of screw this in the rest of the way so I'll get them out. But I'm just thinking whether the small ones because they're the screw parts smaller and the holes probably most likely too big for them, whether they'll go in okay and stay in. Not as I'm you know, need to change it over, but kind of think you'll see that one there. So I basically put on a smaller hook, so I thought there's no point in putting on a big hook. It does the job as well, it stays on the wall. I'll put that one there because I've basically anywhere else to put that and I've only got one of these. Um, obviously that, I can only put one um, cross because I can't fit two cross there, but I'm not fair getting more there, I can, I can go down. But um, yeah, and I'm only put these in the order, I've just put these on here, so. Obviously I've got them right next to the wall and I've got the, um, the gap between them. And I've kind of got them about as level as I can. I didn't use a level as such, I just kind of used my eye, but. Yeah, so I've got those on there, so I might change the hooks over. Because, um, obviously, big hooks, I've got these for upstairs for hanging stuff on. But I haven't got a huge amount of big hooks left, but I've got the small ones. And I think, say, the small ones are probably just because there's, I think, there's six different sizes in there. Some of them don't look much bigger than the others, but there is some slight differences in sizes. So, yeah, I mean, not, not sticking out too far, it's not really a problem. It's whether I can be bothered. I mean, probably for those, because I might move those anyway. But what I'll do for those five, I don't know. And then, these Game of Thrones ones. These magnets I had in that box. I've basically put on that edge there. Again, space I wasn't using. I couldn't do anything else with it. And that seemed to look a good place to put them. And the next the pops are not blocking anything off. And again, I've used, say, used small hooks there. Kind of resting behind the back of that hook because it's not screwed in 100%. Um, because I think I drill a hole a little bit too far in, so I mean, the hook stays in. I mean, I could probably pull it out fairly easy, but I think I did the same with the bottom one as well. But those two, I kind of put the I tried to just make the hole with the hook itself, but that didn't work, so I drilled sort of enough in to get them in, but then I went the rest of the way by screwing them in. So, <clears throat> but yeah, so I've got those hung up there. 
so that space I wasn't using. So I couldn't do much else with it. I mean, I couldn't really put that aside because of the pipe. I can't like it facing the pops. I've just temporarily put these um, Big Hero 6 mystery box figures up there. There's nine of those all together, and you have seven, but it's not worth buying any more from one blow because probably end up with more duplicates. So I just had to pause the video, hence I'm in a different position. So I'm glad there's that function now because I didn't have to start editing videos. Yeah, so I'll put those there, so I can't really... That space is much cheaper than anything else, and I want to hang these up and... You know, where I have other wall space, you know, probably things I want to put there, so... I've got four. Again, if I had them all, like if I had all those ones, I probably wouldn't fit them all on there. Or I've had all those, but, you know... Not likely to get any more of these unless there's any more in a mystery box from time in the future, though. You know, and the ones I don't already have. So again, space I wasn't really using, or wasn't much use, was here, so I've hung up these, again I use small hooks, these little big planet sack boy figures, I got, they were on a keyring thing, I think I took the keyring bit off, but don't know what I've done with that bit, but obviously you can place that. But these were in a tub, I thought, you know, I'll hang those up as well, because they fit that space perfectly. So put those on there, I've got three of those. Probably some other ones. But I think I don't know, I bought this HMV years ago. And then this I've hung these up as well. That was on the stairs lying around, so I've put that on there. Kinda of looks like it's backwards but I wanted that bit on display. And there's the HMV one I got for the anniversary. And um so that's up there and then those all stick over the edge a bit like the Game of Thrones things, but again, they're not really an issue. You know, and just not blocking anything off there, you can sort of still see those. Um, I didn't want to put anything there because I'm not sure how the wire is from that light switch, I'm not sure where it's going, I don't want to risk going through. And then I also have to bear in mind the pipe because ideally I like to put it in the middle, but obviously the middle bit is that join, so I'd have to put it on the left or right, and it's not a huge amount of room to do anything with. So, you have to put those two there. I've got some of the stuff I can't hang up. You've got these upstairs. These came with a life after the navigator and life after the flash um, Blu-rays. So, not sure what to do with those. And this Shrek thing I got, Puss in Boots. I think it's, I think it's from Shrek or most people Puss in Boots. I've got that to put somewhere as well. So I'm going into this hole, I'll probably mention the room to a video. But in terms of those holes, I think I found the fill I had for down here. So I'm thinking not to take a shelf off, because I think it'd be more hassle than it's worth and getting back on it might not go back on properly. And I'm just going to put some fill in those holes there. So I'll still put the cement there. Because so I haven't done that yet. Will I do it actually by the time this video is up? I don't know yet, but. Yeah, I'm just, just going to fill those holes in filler. It'll come out white, but then that'll come out dark colours, though. Because I'm obviously going to be drilling into there again, so I don't really want to put filler in there. The cement's better for that, but for that, I can just pull filler, because I'm not going to use those holes again. All that space, so... And I said, I don't really want to be taking this off, because, you know, in terms of the wall plug inside, you know, it might split in and stuff, and... Might miss the hole up and it might not go back on properly. And then I'll have to start drilling more holes, so. <clears throat> I've also put those three Rick and Morty keyrings I've got there. I've got uh, Rick, Morty and Me Sequel, Mr. Me Sequel, it's called. I put something for the Pickle Rick one, which is not shipped, but that does come. Because I did find one that was cheap without the postage. I will put that on that shelf, um, on that wall there. Obviously that hook's not exactly in the middle, but <clears throat> you just have to get the height, because again, I didn't have a lot of height below that height for, for scoring, but, you know, but I needed that to 
not go below that ledge, so that kind of just fits there. I do have some of these coins, but they're just in holders, they're not in um, these like packaging, so. And I've got two more dose as well lying around I need to do something with. I think it might be one or two. And I've got some more dead ones as well. I think that we're doing some two queuing up. They're going to use a big hook. Did I, probably didn't need to, but I was thinking I was a bigger item, I'll use a bigger hook, but it's not really a problem. I don't, it's not like they all have to be the same size hooks. Because the reason I was using these, um, but it's all nailing into this wall, especially with vibrating the shelves in, bobs start falling over. So, didn't mean I'd be nailing stuff in. And um, I can't really drill a hole because I haven't got a drill, but it's more than enough that. You know, if I put the nail in, it's just going to go straight in the hole. And if I don't drill a hole big enough, then the nail's not going to go in anyway, so. It's much easier putting screws in this wall, but. So I've left, I'll put those hooks, which you know, I've left those hooks. And again, those two on the level, but. So I can be put to change it, and that's. I'll put that one up, it's a bit close to there. Because, obviously, you can put the hook up. But because it's hanging down from the hook a bit, you kind of have to find the hook up the wall. Roughly work out where it's going to be for the nail and then mark the hole, but obviously, um, didn't do a good job there. But again, I might I'll leave it as it is. I put my other sack boy there, so he's on the, the big one I've got. Again, I'm, we might get some more of those, but I don't know if you can still get those e easily or because obviously, a little bit planned, it's not really a thing anymore. And then that groove I got from, I think it was a Facebook link, it was like some Chinese site, but it was actually all right. It's not official, but you know, it looks okay. And I've, I've used that in some pictures I've taken. So I've just put that there under, the, under that space because I wasn't using the space there. I've put all those heads in order now. I've moved all the... <coughs> VHS, I think that's the VHS on the edge, but I've, I've moved things around, so I've got, basically got games out and right across there. Uh, I've got some stuff stacked up there, I can't fit. I mean, I probably could have got a few more on there, but obviously that shelf goes over there. I have ordered some more Disney Infinity figures. Um, I'll probably... I'll probably have had those by the time I've done the Room 2 video, so you, you'll obviously see those in the Room 2 video. But... Um, yeah, I'll basically clear my list off on the app I've got and start again because I had done, I didn't have Captain America and I didn't. I just wanted to make sure. So I've, at the moment I've got 72 and I've ordered some more. Um, they're not new, but I've, well, a couple of new, but the rest are not. Um, the only thing is I'm missing the car for Venom because I know that's not going to be in the, in the thing. And um, I'm not sure, that, well, I'm hoping all, they're all in good condition. Um, I've got those place of things there and now I thought I had more of those because I thought I had one for um I thought one for Guardians of the Galaxy or I'd it's one I thought I had but whatever it was it's either off my shelf over there and I can't find what I've done with it or I did only have eight because there's fifteen altogether. The two lots of wood for the same people, like three figures and a thing. It does have um, so both got a place of peace, but I'm not sure if one of them is one I've already got or not. So I need to check when it comes uh, before I start doing anything else because I don't want to. I want to get all those as well, as well as the remaining thirty odd figures. But I don't want to be buying duplicates, so I want to make sure I know what exactly what I've got. And I need to move that in one as well, so Beridius because he's a Star Wars figure, and I got him with Marvel. Um, I think there is another Ryan Fist, and. Might be uh, another Nick Fury and might be another one in the ones I'm buying on eBay, but that's what they come with, so I don't need those. I'll probably put those for the charity shop. But um, I've got some more Lego minifigures I've ordered. Um, again, those probably be here by then. Um, by my room tour video, gets shot, so that all those will be on there. Um, I'll have to do some moving though, because I've got, I think, 
seven or eight these disinfinite figures coming that will be going on here, new ones for me. So um I'll need to move stuff and might have to move the sticker figures a bit. Might have to move them to the top, depending on what room we got. This is one of the ones I got from Will Kern put up there, you say. It's a little bit bigger, but it all fits on there, okay? Comment if I actually show this in that video. Might not have done it, might not. Have. Didn't have actually um, shown these up yet in the video. So yeah, I'll pull these Mario figs on there. You'll see they were behind on there. But then I thought I had them all on there, and I kept finding some more. I found another three. Hence I've got some at the front, I found the Bowser one, there was a, you know, the Yoshi one, the Luigi one. I don't think I've got any more over there, I think they're all there now, but they're on there at the moment, but I might move this into the room when I can do some sorting in there. And then put the ones up and put some of these things lying around on those as well. Because it's a little bit tired now, I do occasionally catch this walking through that gap and I have um, knocked one off, not broken it, but just knocked it off. Then, the only thing I've done is I've moved the figure off there and put it up there and obviously the, those boxes were up there as well. So I've moved those up to there and obviously this bit is organised there. So I've got that the car to bring down the Batman car and I've got some more two riding figures to go up there. There was three but that one was, I'll show you in the video, was um, decided to um, get a replacement because it, it was broken so. Um, thought I'd um, contact the survey, so I'm waiting for a response on that one. But I put my clapboard there as well, and I was putting these here, those stay on there fine. Those, because the label's there, they're not sitting on there properly, so I've just rested them on there at the moment. And I've just put the tape, I've got the upside tape and the spare ones for the light switch covers, put into there as well. I was going to put those pictures up, so I did start nailing that in, but. Again, it's a nice, it seems really awkward name to that wood, huh? for some reason. Um, I, mean, I could put hang on a screw, because I'm going to screw in, but I feel better where they are to put a hook, because I think it's got a better chance of staying up. Yeah, that filler, I found that, I'll put it on the shelf. So I'll use that flat thing. There's one more thing I forgot to mention. Or two more things. So those two Sherlock Holmes lenticular cards. Couldn't get a pop frame for them, didn't want to do them, so I'm using these still book things I bought. Didn't think I was gonna use them for still books anyway, but I'm, I'm using those and uh, I've put those in there. Again, they're not probably won't stay there, but I'll there for the moment. And I'll do the same with those coasters. The, Godfather and Back to the Future, those by the TV, but put them on stand somewhere. And I've got some Banksy ones as well, I might do some with. So the only other thing I've done is that Kasabian sign. So I was going to put the Artie Monkeys camps there, but it's awkward to get to. Uh, but I put the Kasabian sign there. It's basically two holes in already. Um, I was thinking I had to attach it. Because it was resting originally. But I drilled, marked the holes, drilled them, and I put two screws in. Now the screws are smaller than the holes themselves, but I haven't put the screws in completely fully. So it's kind of resting on the screws. And it's not 100% level, but then, not because I haven't put the holes in level, I think I probably did. Just the holes, one hole's slightly bigger than the other, so it's resting a bit further down on the left, but. You know, it's fine, not really a problem. So I've got that on display now properly. Um, did try taking those off because I wanted to put them in the shelf there. Um, but unfortunately, I've, the upside table got so strong, I just can't get them off. I could probably put them behind, but I don't want to damage them. Um, because I think I could screw them in as well. Wouldn't need to screw all four corners, but I could put a screw in the left side and the right side to 
just enough so it rests on there. But um, yeah, I need to, need to get those down somehow because I'd rather put the shelf there and I couldn't put those somewhere else. But yeah, it's a little bit awkward to get those down. But, um, so yeah, they're there at the moment still. So I think that's basically everything I've done since the last sort of update video. I'll say you'll see all this in a room two video. Uh, but I just wanted to do a separate video just to show this anyway, what I've done. Um, just like a record really. Uh, so this you'll see this video probably early 2022. Um, don't think there's anything else. I mean, if I do anything else between this me shooting this video and this, when I come to do my room two video, obviously you'll see anything extra in that video. Um, probably won't do no one these now for doing anything else. But I thought I've done I've done quite a few things extra since the last one that it's worth just doing a video about it. And um, yeah, and so I've got I've got a couple more mugs. Need to find somewhere to put them. But um, yeah, I think that's it really. Nothing else to to mention that I can think of. So yeah, that's it for this video. Me, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.